So hello everyone, welcome to helpmymath.com. So this time we will testing the difference uh, difference between means or small independent sample case. Okay. So before we solving this problem, I, I'm gonna just uh, confirm one uh, fact first here. Please look at this right side. So then now. So t value. So this one case uh, is similar sample case. So we are not using z uh, value anymore. We have to use a t value. Okay. So t equal to x bar one minus x bar two minus mu one minus mu two. But this one usually equal to zero because we assuming they are equal to equal to each other. And then over sigma x bar one minus x bar two basically. Okay. But now. The dip, big difference is now this the small sample case we need to uh, separate you know the the case the variables are equal to each other or they are not equal to each other. Okay, if we assume they are equal to each other, then now we need to when you determine uh, this um, the standard division value, we have to find um, sigma cap value first and then sigma sigma cap times uh, square root 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2. So, because they are equal variance, so tf value also equal to n1 plus n2 minus 2 basically. Okay, so that's the property here. Now, if uh, variance are not equal to each other, then so sigma x bar minus x, uh, sigma x bar, x1 bar minus x bar, x2 bar equal to square root s1 square over n1 plus s2 square over n2. And then, in this case, the df, uh, degree of freedom value become smaller between n1 minus n, n1 minus 1 over n2 minus 1. Okay? So this case uh, kind of formula is the same as uh, when we talk about the large sample. But now uh, we assume equal variance. Then uh, remember we have to two, we have to go to two different um, step here. So find out sigma cap and then sigma cap time square root one over n one plus one over n two like that. Okay. All right. Then let's go to example here. Example one: the braking distance of A Volkswagen GTIs and 10 Ford Focuses were tested when traveling at 60 miles per hour on dry pavement. The result is shown as a table below. Can you conclude that there is a difference in the mean braking distance of the two type of cars? Use I factor to say 0.01. Assume the populations are normally distributed and the population variance are not equal. Okay, not equal. So not equal, which means uh, we have to use basically uh, this formula to find out sigma value here. Make sense to you? Okay. So now, let's. I'm gonna just set up the hypothesis testing first. So when you look at here, um, so there is a difference, right? Difference, which means they are not equal to each other. So now, because it shows that GTI first, so there will be a mu one, mu one, or uh, the first data set, and the focus will be second data set. So I can make H A that equal to no. Oops. So mu one. So I can say so u one and then and mu two then I equal to each other. That's the claim basically. And then H O so U one equal to mu two basically. Okay. So I'm gonna switch this to equal sign instead. Okay. So that's our hypothesis setting. All right. Then now, uh, before finding out t sample score, we need to find out uh, t alpha value first. Okay. So now, is it two tail test or one tail test? Yes. It is two tail test, right? So when you find out um, t 
t-value, we need to find out degree of freedom first. Okay? So, go here. So, when they are not equal variance time, then degree of freedom becomes smaller between n1-1 or n2-1, right? Okay, then now, so n1 equal to 8, n2 equals 10, therefore, uh, our degree of freedom, freedom which value will be 7 instead, because uh, 8 is smaller than, I mean, the first data, n1 is smaller than n2. Data, set, data, a number of data, basically. So, so uh, degree of freedom becomes seven instead. Okay. Then now let's find out our z score. So I'm gonna do uh, t score. So t critical. So that equal to t uh, inverse to t inverse to t here, right here, right. And then now probability, which is 0 0.01 and comma our df value because 7. Okay, so that's the our uh, t critical value and then I'm going to round uh, maybe about 2 decimal digit then because 3.50 which means now we can say negative 3.50 and then also 3.50 and then now uh, on the left side side, we have a half HA and the middle here HO, and then right side become the other half HA as well. Okay, then I'm gonna make a middle so that we can see a little better. All right, then now I'm gonna color that so we can see. Okay, like this. Okay, then now let's find out. Uh, Sample t score. Okay. So I'm going to say sample t. Okay. Before finding out sample t, we need to find out um, sample standard deviation in this case here. So standard deviation in this case, we have to use this formula basically. Okay. So we can do that equal to square root and then open the parenthesis one more time and 6.9 square and divide by 8 plus oh sorry we close the parenthesis and then and plus and uh, 2.6 square uh, divide by 10. Okay? Yeah, so now this will be our uh, the standard division value, okay, which means a sigma x bar 1 minus x bar 2 basically. Okay? So I'm going to put here. So. Yeah, so basically sigma x bar 1 minus x bar 2 become 2.57434. So I may also rounding around 1000. Okay, like that. Okay, then let's find out t sample. So t sample, we are using this formula. And then don't forget, we assume uh, u1 minus u2 one minus u equal to 0. Therefore, equal to open the parenthesis 134 minus 143. And divide by so this number. Okay. Then now we got uh, t sample score become negative three point four nine something. Okay, so I'm gonna also making hundred digit here. Okay, so we got negative three point five zero. Alright. So now this is exactly same as negative three point five here, right? So uh, now we can say so we can say, uh, actually, it is not clear. So I'm going to make maybe t critical value, maybe more digit, then hopefully it can be a little bit more clear. Yeah, 499. Um, this case is more like, oh, 49. Okay, now it is clear. So negative, so t sample become negative 3.496, right? Okay, now it is belong to, I think, between. So I'm going to also switch that. 
uh, negative 3.499 and then this become 3.499 so that looks better so when I look at that so this one is belongs to basically HO area make sense because uh, this is really close to this value but still uh, T sample is between um, between two T quick value for two tail test so our conclusion become failed to reject HO now claim was on HAE and we failed to reject HO so there is not enough evidence to support the claim it means um, there's no difference in the mean breaking distance okay so there is no difference of breaking distance between two uh, more models Okay, so that's the conclusion for this problem. Okay.